Thank you, Kelly. Well, reaction continues to pour in now 24 hours after the release of body cam footage showing the deadly police shooting of 13-year-old Adam Toledo by a Chicago police officer. After a calm night of peaceful protests last night, the city is bracing for the potential of larger demonstrations tonight. And News Nation's Jenna Barnes is live in Chicago where a planned protest just got underway minutes ago. So, Jenna, what does it look like out there now? Nicole, the crowd here is growing by the minute. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see. Chicago police tell us they're estimating several hundred people preparing for up to 600 people to attend this protest. And we've seen them gathering here for the past 45 minutes or so. It is just now getting started. Many people here are motivated by the release of that body camera video of this shooting. It shows 13 year old Adam Toledo did have a gun, but he put it on the ground and he raised his hands in the moments, the split second before the officer shot him once in the chest and killed him. The 34th, 35th Ward Alderman of Chicago was handing out justice for Adam Toledo signs this afternoon for people coming to this rally. I spoke to a couple of them and they say this is a call to action for them that's been building for some time. I think what happened is unacceptable and I think police across this country are over militarized. They are too willing to shoot first and people, too many people are dying. Toledo's family, through their attorney, released a statement today imploring anyone gathering in his name tonight to do so peacefully and nonviolently. Reporting live in Chicago, Jenna Barnes, News Nation.